Hello dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel, where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Please kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Also, endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate your support. A lot of people have wondered how the bandits that kidnapped over 600 students in Katsina State, Kankara local government area, were able to move the students away into the bush without vehicles. It has now been revealed how they were moved. Abductors of pupils of Government Science Secondary School, Kankara, in Katsina State, took the boys away on motorcycles, the military said on Monday night. The assailants came to the school premises on Friday night, shot dead one of the two policemen on guard, incapacitated the other and entered the facility. They shot sporadically into the air while the pupils were already sleeping. Coordinator of the Media Defense Operations, Major General John Enenche, recalled this during his appearance on a channel's television program monitored in Lagos. He said, one of the 33, one of the 333 pupils, I beg your pardon, 333 pupils, Declared missing by Katsina State Governor Aminu Masari had returned. General Enenche said they were moved on the motorcycles they brought, that is, the motorcycles that the gunmen brought. And after a short distance, some of them continued with their motorcycles while others dismounted. As they dismounted, one of the boys escaped. Others had to trek long distances. Of course, that is their usual characteristics. It is the same system, the same approach they used. There was no evidence, no information about them using other modes of transport. According to him, the gunmen arrived at the school at about 10.45 p.m. It was unclear how many motorcycles were used by the abductors to move hundreds of pupils. General Enenche said they stormed the school on their motorcycle around 10.45 p.m. There were two policemen at the beat. One was shot dead, then the other one was injured. They went to the dormitories and staff quarters, shooting sporadically into the air. Their aim was to abduct the pupils and other people. We got the information and got there at about 11.30 p.m. The soldiers, he said, would have stopped the gunmen from taking the pupils away, but the abductors used the pupils as human shield. They were using the pupils as human shield, and we do not want casualties among the pupils. The main issue is that none of the pupils was killed in the process, the defense spokesman said. He confirmed that the 333 pupils were missing as at 2 p.m. on Sunday. The principal reported that he had 839 in the boarding house as at the time they were abducted. Shortly after that, some came back and it was about 500 
plus that did not return. As at 2 p.m. yesterday, the pupils that could not be accounted for reduced to 333. As I speak with you, the figure we have is 333, out of which one escaped as at this afternoon. There is hope, and the hope is being placed on the fact that we need them out alive, he said. He admitted that he got information about the gunmen reaching out to the government through the media and other sources. The gunman, Major General Enenche said, beat the intelligence behind the Safe Schools initiative put in place to secure pupils in schools. The program, which, the program was initiated after the Chibok school abduction in 2014. The abductors have now opened talks with the Katsina state government after claiming responsibility for the kidnap. They have made a ransom demand in addition to requesting that the military stop its aerial surveillance. Katsina state governor Aminu Masari with his deputy, Manir Yakubu, briefed President Muhammad Buhari at his Daura home on the latest development. He hosted the Minister of Defense and Service Chiefs on Sunday. We are making progress and the outlook is positive. The governor told reporters after an hour-long meeting with the president. The meeting began at 2 p.m. Masari also noted that security agencies had located the boys. The governor said the president was committed to their rescue. Masari's spokesman, Alhaji Abdul Labaran Malumfashi, told the nation that when the bandits contacted a parent of one of the victims, they told him he would receive ransom demand and that the government should stop the aerial surveillance of the hideouts in the forests. A parent, Alhaji Muntari Abdul Kadri, whose child was abducted, urged the government to speed up the rescue efforts. Abdukadri said one of his two abducted children returned. He said, I have seen one of my children, Abdullahi, but Muhammad, who is in JS2, is yet to return. I got wind of the abduction on Friday night but couldn't go to the school area because of the gunshots that were being heard all over town. After the morning prayers on Saturday, about 5.30 a.m., we began to troop to the school with others. I was disturbed that some children have started returning while I am yet to see my second son. There is something people are yet to know. Before the abduction of Kankara Secondary School students, the bandits on Wednesday attacked Yakuka village, killed 12 people and abducted an unspecified number of people. The chairman, Al-Haji Salisu Majigiri, reminded the government of its constitutional responsibility of providing security for Nigerians. Guys, this is really, really sad and unfortunate. But however, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? It is sad and unfortunate. One would imagine why are we still having issues with insecurities in the country, despite all the efforts that the government and the military are claiming to be putting in? This is really, really sad and unfortunate. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong, though, but what are your thoughts? What do you think the government needs to do? What do you think the military has to do or should do to forestall such attacks because the rate of insecurity is becoming or the rate of abduction rather i beg to say 
is becoming alarming. Well, guys, drop by the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.